Forget about it, John. It's Chinatown. Now, a lot of people are talking, yourself included, Mayor John Tory, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, even Premier Doug Ford, about people need to stay home. If not, they could face arrest. And yet here on Spadina in Chinatown, you can see you can start, you can buy one of these bags to fill up, grocery bags, if you say, okay, for groceries, that's an essential item. But then over here, here's some more essential items that you might want to consider looking at. If you're here, we've got some keychains and some Toronto stuff. But we've also got the surgical masks. That's pretty essential. Let's have a look here. This contraption, $9.99. Pokemon. Everybody needs Pokemon. The kids need something like that to do. We were asking you about uh, shopping down here, and it doesn't yeah. bother you to be shopping down on, no, on no, Spadina. No. I've always come down here. How long you lived in sort of the area? Uh, I've lived in the area about almost 10 years. That's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even when I was out of the area, I would take my bike in the summer and come down here because everything in these stores is fresh. People think, you know, I don't want to go down there and try to town smells, but they get more turnover in their produce and in their meats and fish than any major supermarket. So you're always getting very fresh food and prices are unbelievable. Out here at a nice fresh food market. How yeah. is it to be out here, get a little fresh air, walk the dog, and, and be out here shopping? Yeah, it's amazing. You know, I you know I obviously got a lot more free time on my hands now. So uh, yeah, it's a nice, uh, nice small little place can support a local uh, food business. Now the leaders have been very clear to stay home, but not everybody can stay home, and not everybody is staying home. There's many people that have to go to work, and they still have to eat, and they also need things to do and the businesses need to stay in business. So this is a very interesting kind of reality that's happening in Chinatown, but also in other parts of town. The reality is that this virus is still spiking. So if it does, maybe some of this stuff that people are kind of using loopholes to get through will end up being closed. But for now, in Chinatown and in many other parts of the city, it's still business as usual. With Jack Boland in Chinatown, Joe Warmington reporting.